Hey, hey, you're the shepherd kid. Hey, been a long time, huh? I'm sorry. Do we know each other? Uh, I guess you don't remember me. Lieutenant Zabaleta, I, I worked with your mother. We served on the carrier Einstein. Well, that was 12, 13 years back, though. You were just a kid then. I guess you're not in the service anymore, huh? <laughs> yeah, retired, yeah. You know how it is. Times are tough for vets. They always are. I didn't see her much that tour. The ship was on patrol most of the time. Hey, call your mom up and ask. She'd remember old Zabaleta. She'd vouch for me. Look, I need a favor. I'm kind of short of money these days. I hate hitting you up for money, but a man's gotta eat, right? So, could you spare something? Maybe 20 credits. 20 isn't enough to get you back on your feet, is it? No, no, no. I'll just get a, a meal. You know. Yeah. It's not a problem. You're a good kid, you know that? Thanks. You ever want to come by and talk, I'll be here. Huh? <laughs> Can't afford a ticket home, right? Computer, give me a real-time connection to the Dreadnought Kilimanjaro. I want to speak to my mother, Exo Shepard. Shepard speak? Oh, hi. I don't have time for a personal call right now. I'm on duty. I know what that's like. Do you remember a Lieutenant Zabaleta from the Einstein? Ernesto? Have you heard from him? He was one of the Marines who guarded the CIC. We shared a watch. I lost track of him after there was an incident. I've seen him here on the Citadel. Looks like he's had some hard times. I don't doubt it. You remember the Batarian raid on Mindwar in 2170? You were in high school. The Einstein's task group responded to the May Day. The Batarians were still pulling out when the Marines hit groundside. Zabaleta was one of the first down. He... he was never quite the same after. I don't understand. What happened down there? About every abomination that a sentient being can do to another. To a slaver, a person is just another animal. And humans aren't always liked out here. We heard about corralling. Culling. They'd shoot those they couldn't use, implant control devices in the skulls of those they could, without anesthetic. He has post-traumatic stress because of what he saw? He tried to keep working, but it rode him. He showed up drunk on duty more and more. We couldn't always cover for him. The Alliance discharged him. Everyone knew he drank because of what he'd seen down there, even if he never talked about it. Especially because he never talked about it. For it to have affected him that deeply, he must have been a very sensitive man. He was. Always in laughter and tears. If you see him, tell him we still worry about him. Tell him to go to the Veterans Affairs office. I have to go. But take care of yourself. You're making us proud. Kilimanjaro out. Hey, back again, huh? I don't suppose you got any credits to spare. I spoke to my mother. She told me about what happened on Mindwar. Oh, did she? I wonder. People tied like prize hogs, locked in cages, clawing and screaming as they're loaded into cargo pods. And we couldn't reach them. The Batarian defenses had us pinned. Dozens died trying to advance. All we could do was watch as they hauled people away. I've been looking for 13 years for something to make that sight go away. What have you got, huh? I'm not going to give you money to drink yourself to death. You need to stop this. If you don't have a better option, just give me 20 credits. A good bottle of whiskey. Enough to stop the dreams. My mother said to go to the Veterans Affairs Office. You're not the only one who's seen that brand of hell. They can help. The VAO? God! <sighs> Alright. If she wants me to go talk to someone, fine, I'll do it. 
For her. She always stuck up for me. <laughs> she always was naive. All the VAO does is pump you full of chemicals. If she wants to talk, tell her she can reach me through the Citadel VAO.